this is Pale Rider from Pale Rider TV, and you are watching Trucker Rudy. <laughs> Eighteen wheels rolling down the road Nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the... Good morning, good morning, everybody! We are just on our way over to our uh, terminal here in that Steinbach. Yeah, we're fixing to go out. That's right. It is Monday morning again. We got ourselves a load apparently going to Kentucky. Yeah. Grunfield or something like that. Kentucky. I think that's what about what it was. Just shy of 1,600 miles. Yep, so that's gonna be a decent trip. And it started raining this morning, so yeah. That's definitely fall over here, that's for sure. Oh, there's a lot of trucks here. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll go over here this way. This way like this and then we'll be able to park here in the front it looks like yeah, there we go anyways just figured I start the morning right away and then we'll uh, go inside grab our paperwork and then we'll pick up our trailer and uh, start making our way south so we'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, we are doing a pre-trip inspection here at the yard. And I wanted to show you guys something. My truck does not have a spike. As you guys can see right here, there is no spike. And what that means is to pull the, pull the handle down for the trailer brakes. So what I do to check my brake lights is I use this uh, bolt cutter here and I put it right here on the brakes and it goes right against my seat and then I go check my brake lights, eh? I go make sure my brake lights are working, eh? Look at that. My brake lights are definitely working. So I'm just walking to the back. I'm gonna go check the trailer brakes real quick and see if they're working, right? Well, that's how I look. Yeah, this one is. Yep, look at this. This one is pretty nice and bright. So we know the brakes are working. We did uh, check that, so I checked everything else already. I just wanted to show you guys just a little bit on what I do, you know, to check my brake lights. Because uh, sometimes you get caught, you know. All of a sudden one brake light is not working or both of them are not working, you know. That has happened to me, so. Anyways, I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we got a scale here at the yard, so we're gonna scale this load. It's a little bit on a heavier side, so. Yeah, we got a little bit of a screen there on the side. It's hard to see, but I can actually see it. Now we're good. We're good on that axle. All right. Oh boy. Yeah. That's not looking so good. I'm like 34,700 pounds on the drive, so scale the trailer here and see how heavy we are on the trailer we might just have to slide the axle the trailer axle so let me go check the trailer and see what it is I'll be right back alrighty guys we got it done we had a little bit of room on the trailer so I was able to uh, move the uh, trailer axle one hole and we was able to uh, make it pretty legal and I'm saying pretty illegal because I'm a tiny, tiny little bit over on the drives. But uh, most of the states do allow me to be uh, 400, uh, 400 pounds overweight anyways. 
and the reason being is uh, because uh, I got the APU unit so we actually do have a APU unit exemption so we are allowed to be 400 pounds on almost all of the states and some of the states allow 500 pounds some even go as much as uh, 550 pounds overweight on the gross on the 80,000 so so we are a little bit over on the uh, on the drive 100 like, meters turn right on highway 52 we're like 34,300 pounds on the drives but uh, that's you know still within the legal range there with my weight exemption so so we're good to go yeah so let's get out of town get out of town yeah here we go continue on this road for 21 a little bit every once in a while but we are good to go so let's put the hammer down and have ourselves a fantastic day thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog and that's come along and ride along with us and have yourself a fantastic day together i'm sure it's going to be a good day oops my camera just got splashed there with some water so gotta clean that anyways let's go guys Alrighty, guys this manitoba scale is open again just like friday when we came back home it was open it is open again meters. today turn right on fifth street west so we're gonna go across it and see what we got today what they got to say today i'm kind of surprised that they're open northbound but this happens sometimes you know it really does looks like they're open both ways again today but anyways i don't know that bison there he was on the scale there for quite a while there so i don't know why they were picking on him or what but Usually bison is pretty good with their weight, but anyways, we'll go across here and see what they got to say, right? Here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, 5320 on the on the uh, number 15.4. All right, that's good. 15 4 15 5 yeah. all right we still got the next slide so all right we're good to go i guess this is it guys we are in the united states of america welcome to north dakota yeah it's not like this is the first time i've been across here right <laughs> yeah this has been many times i've been across here Seems like they were a little bit picky today at the border. Yeah. Asking some weird questions. But we got through it all right. We didn't even have to go through the scanner. But they were putting a lot of trucks through the scanner today. So here we go. Welcome to the Valley of Region. Yeah, North Dakota that is. Anyways, let's put the hammer down and we will be out of here. We'll go further south. Well, guys, we've been giving it pretty hard here for the last couple of hours. Yeah, so we are already past Fargo. Looks like we got about another 33 miles to go and we'll be in South Dakota. Yeah, I think we might make it down to Watertown tonight. We'll have to see how that goes, but... That's a good distance yet, a couple of hours away probably, but... Well, I don't know if about a couple, but maybe two. Well, I guess if I could uh, get another two hours in, that would be great, because uh, that would bring me down to uh, 600 miles. So I need at least another two, hour, two hours to, uh, to get in today. So we got almost five o'clock now, so we'll have to go at least till seven tonight. Which is all right. Seven o'clock is all right. Yes, that it is. Yeah, it's been... Bugs have been coming out a little bit today. So my windshield has been getting hammered with some bugs today. I thought it was almost too cold already for bugs, but I guess not. Yeah. But other than that, we've just been cruising along steady here. We haven't stopped since we left Pemina there. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see. 
see how it goes. I'm open to make uh, at least uh, water tone, South Dakota. That way, at least I'm past the scale. And I'm a good ways down. Maybe I'll even get a little further than that. We'll have to see, but we'll have to see where that two hours mark will take us. But looks like the uh, clouds are starting to disappear up there further south, so. I might be getting some clear skies later on. Yep. Anyways, we'll just continue on with our show here, our cruising along the highway here. And we'll see you all a little bit later. Well, guys, we are done for today. We're here in uh, Watertown, Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> Watertown, uh, South Dakota. Yeah, we are just relax and winding down for the evening and figured I end up the video finish it off and then probably put it together and go to bed yeah because we want to get up early tomorrow morning and get out of here so we can get over to uh, as close to our delivery as we can get and I want to get there early so that way I can be a little more sure that I can get me a truck stop over there where I can park at. I'll have room in there, right? We always got to worry about that. If you drive late in the evening, you ain't going to find a parking spot that easily, you know. And you kind of know have to know where to uh, find this spot. But hey, that's okay. We're just going to get up early. and Yeah, she got 610 miles to go till our final destination where we deliver we'll be delivering there uh, Wednesday morning and I think I was saying earlier to you guys that I was going to Kentucky and that's incorrect I don't know why I have Kentucky in my head but uh, it's actually Grunfield Missouri yeah yeah I don't know why I was having Kentucky in my mind I have no idea but it just ran across my mind and I guess it's just stuck in my head or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, that's about all I got. So uh, thank you guys for watching my today's vlog. I hope it was interesting enough for you guys to watch it all the way to the end. And if it was, well, thank you very much for watching it all the way. So with that, have a good one and we will be sure to see you here tomorrow again. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch tomorrow's show. Hit the like button, comment, and be sure to subscribe. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.